Stimson. Hey, congratulations. Last time we spoke was CineQuest, but this time San Diego Comic-Con. Believe me, I am as shocked as you are. Something has gone terribly wrong, and I just want to send my condolences to San Diego Comic-Con for how bad things have gotten. I, I was going to say, did the machine work? Did you go back in time and kill yourself? or what, 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 how, how did you end up here? You, you changed it all. I admit nothing. <laughs> uh, we got here because Comic-Con wants to support people. Uh, we decided to see if they would have any interest in showing Tim Travers and the Time Traveler's Paradox, and shockingly, they did. Mm -hmm. And this is so weird to be here because I am a Comic-Con attendee. This is my non-work life. This is what I do for fun, is going to things like this. And so to be here on the other side of the table, being part of a panel, having a frickin' uh, a guest badge is so strange to me. Like, it, I am one of you, Comic-Con people, and I am shocked by this. And only a little bit terrified out of my mind. I was, I, w I was going to say that, you know, this is a different audience from, like, CineQuest and a lot of the uh, few film festivals that, you know, Tim Travers mm -hmm. was actually a showcase. So, so I guess uh, it will be much easier to explain the time, um, time Traveler's Paradox to these, this crowd. I choose to believe that the level of nerddom and geekdom here at Comic-Con will know what I'm talking about before I finish describing it. Like, I, I feel good about this crowd. People are going to get this, I hope. And if they don't, then at this point, it's time to throw in the towel. <laughs> so, so that means you don't have to retell that story that you came out um, the idea for the story from a drunken stupor in its own way. I feel like I'm going to end up retelling it anyway. It keeps coming up. Like, people ask, where did you come up with this story? And they're usually expecting me to say something like, well, I was thinking about a deep, complex scientific problem, or I really wanted to tell a story that connected to the human experience. The truth is, I was drunk. Yeah. I was really, really drunk. Like, just the, the kind of drunk that takes you a few days mm -hmm. to get past. Like, the next morning, you're not just feeling like death, you're wondering about all the decisions that you've made in your life that led you to this point. That level of hangover. But hey, I wrote a really good script when I was hungover, so. <laughs> I guess that works, right? That's right, kids. Alcohol will help you be more successful in life. <laughs> Well, let me wrap it up with one, one last thing, because you, you made such an elaborate production um, machine of the, uh, you know, the time Travers machine. And, and, I, and I, if I recall, you kept it. So that basically means, it's, there, is there a possibility that you could reuse it in another movie someday? Unfortunately, the time machine is 24 feet tall. So when the film ended after our pickup shoots, we did have to destroy it. Oh, no. Uh, yes. But in, here's the thing, though. It's the second time we built it, because we also built it for the short film the feature was based on. So we can build it again. And I don't think I'm done with the character of Tim Travers just yet. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, Simpson, thank you very much for speaking to me again. And, you know, welcome, to, a pleasure. welcome to San Diego Comic-Con, because this is your world. Yeah, it's my world, but I'm not used to being in this particular part of this world, so this is new to me. <laughs> Most excellent. Thank you very much. Thank Absolutely, you. Absolutely, man. Thank Good you. to see you again. Thank you. Thank you.